Hello and welcome back. We went back to get Snake Edo. <laughs> I said, yeah, I'm wearing the Snake Edo. I mean Cheeto. I mean, because <laughs> I saw his yellow arm. We're wearing the Snake Eater camo because... Uh, I think you tried to say Snake Eater camo and Tuxedo at the same time. No, I was really thinking of Cheetos when I said Snake Eater. Or Snake Edo. Snake Edo. That's Neato Snake. <laughs> That's Neato. Is that right. Cheeto? So, Man on Fire. This is actually... Possibly one of the most important missions in the game. And, and it's again, a side op. And yet again, it's a side op. You know, I think this would have been cool to do a boss battle, how it ends. I think it should have been. And when this time you have to actually beat him. Maybe get a, like, water tower and throw water on him. You know you what would... Put him I, I think it would have been cool if you actually fought him like uh, the old Logan. Yeah. But, well, if we sit here and talk about missed opportunities, we'll be here for... How long? Well, we already did like an hour video about it. Why was oh. I looking through audio tapes? Uh, you want to play the probably the Huey thing. Oh. I guess I want to play this. Or Man on Fire. Under a philanthropist in a tanger. Yeah. He was caught under the wheels of its transport platform. But his body wasn't found. What? We searched the area the moment we arrived, but there was no trace of him. I wasn't hallucinating. I know. I trust you on that. That means someone must have taken the body. But when I got there, everything was still as it was. Even Skullface hadn't been touched. I can't see a reason to sneak into a place like that and drag out the biggest, heaviest guy there. What are you getting at? The only option left is... He got up and walked away. That platform ran him over. Just ran him over. You're saying that's not enough? I don't want to believe it, but... Maybe not. He shrugs off bullets, even rocket strikes. There's no reason to think that would finish him. It seems ridiculous, but I'll start gathering eyewitness accounts just in case. If you dig up anything concrete, I want to know. You'll be the first, if I dig anything up. But I hope to hell I don't. No kidding. Where's D-Horse? Which buddy did I bring? I forgot. In fact, if it's around the same time, I probably just brought Quiet. Once Why? I escape that base. In the previous side op, I just fucking went right here. And you know, they gave quite a sniper wolf outfit, and you have Metal Gear Solid Three outfits. Well, in this here. is DLC. Well, that would have been cool if she got like a uh, Eva outfit. There is an outfit of Eva and the boss, but I'm not sure if Quiet can wear it. Your female soldiers can wear it. But for Quiet, that would been well, cool. That's true. I'm I not thought. sure though. Don't quote me on that. Quiet might be able to. I've never tested it because I didn't buy the boss's outfit. I'd rather strangle myself. <laughs> <laughs> I hate the boss. I mean, I don't like her either. Yeah, that's something you want to say in a Metal Gear fan video. One of the most popular characters you don't like. I just don't like how Kojima is like doubled down on it. Kind of why I don't like Big Boss. She was a great character in Snake Eater, but retroactively they ruined her. Without the boss, humanity wouldn't have learned how to wipe their ass cracks. Like, God. Yeah, you... they actually got the history of how people learned how to speak wrong in this game yeah, too. Was, well, we mentioned that before. Um, the boss taught them. The boss actually the taught the parasites. The boss taught the parasites. Who taught humanity? Who taught humanity? <laughs> but then humanity forgot again. What? What? I don't know what I. Well, okay. Guess you want to smoke up. No, oh, sandstorm. We are recording this video on 420. Smoke up. You know, we'll probably <laughs> upload this in July. <laughs> the rate we're uploading! Ah, just get them all up there, you know. That's why I say. We're even recording out of order, but hey, don't question it. They don't know that. Oh yeah, well I just said, ooh. Well, you did okay, say. let's pretend I didn't say that. I think you do have quiet. Either that or your scouts are really fucking good. Because he's already detected it. Well, at that rate it'd be DD, but you know it's not DD because he'd be running side you, by you side. Are, you are way too far away. For DD to sniff him out, I think. Uh, don't underestimate DD. I don't know with Big Boss's phone. Yeah, well, still, he still goes. Rawr, 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 rawr. You scared the kitty. I'm sorry, kitty. What the hell? Are they fighting something? Oh, cease cover. I told Quiet to fire. Huh. <laughs> now I just told her to eliminate him. That's okay, I'm already going lethal. At this point, I said fuck it. You know, I still don't like to go lethal in this game. Yeah, but you're supposed to descend to villainy, even though that's complete bullshit. 
You know, I think that says more about the players, though. The yeah. fact that uh, people were inherently good. Because if you think about it, the fact that we're bitching that we never really went evil. Well, that's kind of a spoiler, we'd say, in our spoiler video. But I think that speaks to the players, because a lot of people said that complaint. So that means you played the game non lethally mm -hmm. you know? But maybe that's more on the player's part. I guess, hypothetically, you could go around killing everyone but the kids. But that's kind of a cop-out. Well, that's true, too. Narratively, it's You know, you were complaining it. about Dark Souls doing something like that, but, you know. Well, I'm not saying this is any better. <laughs> I'm just saying it's something of note. Like, the fact Wait, that... Oh, that's a dummy in there, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. I mean, could you imagine going in a porta potty in Afghanistan with this? What the? Fuck? I shot the dummy. Oh, I, I thought he had a shield or something. I thought that was a. I thought that was a riot shield. Well, at least that got me off the topic of smelly shit. I guess. Dude, can you imagine if you were in a porta potty and someone tipped it? After the porta potty had been used all day at a circus in like 80 degree what the? weather. Oh, that was fucking weird. <laughs> Oh, now they got shields, okay. Why'd I bring this assault rifle, which doesn't even have a good scope? Ooh! <laughs> I ain't what right in front and right behind I was actually, I remember what I did here. I was trying out different uh, assault rifles. <laughs> oh, he dies a different way. Well, he's done now. I remember he pissed me off, too. I was like, this fucker is gonna almost make me miss a grenade shot twice. <laughs> I was very petty when I recorded this. I was in a dark place, man, when I recorded this shit. <laughs> yeah, you were thinking of the boss. I actually was, and I was thinking of the ending. So He's fire. Why? What the f So you can't even climb over that. That's <laughs> bullshit. I don't even think Quiet's doing anything, because, like, everyone is still up. It's like Puma Man, she's just jumping around. No, oh, so... Well... Dude, what are you... You're not... I got pissed. Usually you're good at aiming iron sights. I got pissed. It's true, when you're angry, you actually do not play very well. Well, you're the exact what opposite. The... When you're angry, you play well. I told you I was pissed. Don't question it. Dang! <laughs> that's not even an assault rifle you were using, that's a light machine gun. No, I switched it. Yeah, but you're complaining about the light machine. Oh, gun. it was the heavy machine gun I was using. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> man, oh, oh, I was gonna say man made out of stone, but <laughs> that wasn't a balloon. That was a human. So yeah, you can tell this is actually my secondary save because uh, I the first thing I did is I destroyed every one of these things. I was gonna say so. Um, yeah, I just did this save just to. We we there. did this complete stealth and didn't uh, didn't get in firefight of at all. Of course, and that's not blood. That's pasta sauce. Don't mention pass I'm hungry. Let's put a hole in their air surveillance. The chopper will be able to get in close now. You can designate a landing zone near the outpost. Alright, guess we're uh, designating a landing zone? Why? I don't know. <laughs> oh my dick! No one can survive! <laughs> So this guy wasn't crushed at all. <laughs> so Lanthimos did a horrible job. This is probably one of the coolest cutscenes in the game. Such a lust for revenge. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Morgan. Ironic. The man of thunder became the man on fire. Wow, I like how he just drifts off. <laughs> That's the end. Here's to you, lightning man, burned on fire. What with the horse? Is he hallucinating the horse? I have no idea. So it's obviously a unicorn, supposed to be too. the boss's horse, but on fire, I guess. I don't know. See, I thought this. No, the, been... the 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 fire horn is right where you shot it in the head in Peace Walker. I think it is. I thought this should have been a boss battle, like we were saying earlier. It really should have. And then when you beat him, it could have ended this way. 
That's kind of clever. At least he doesn't grab your crotch. Oh god, he's gonna make love to me! what the fuck just happened really you know but See, they don't explain it this kind of ties into the fact that he was having hallucinations but i guess not i guess vulcan really did come alive and then died because he saw his face See, i was like what happened but when you beat the game this suddenly kind of makes sense in context not the horse the horse makes no fucking sense. yeah but why vulcan uh lost his uh desire for revenge i guess kind of makes sense when you beat the game if that makes any sense So, what was the point of that? Do they actually take the body back with them? Yeah. What do, what do we learn after that? Uh, Ocelot investigates the body. I think I did record the cutscene, so I will just place it in here. Yeah, I'll probably just put the cutscene right here, if I don't already have it here. So We don't want you. Chris Redfield bald. Everyone looks like Chris Redfield. Look at all the Chris's. Look at all the Chris hey, Redfield. Hey, look, at the very end, it was Chris. <laughs> hey, Chris. I barely recognize you, Colonel. Skullface used your thirst for revenge against Big Boss, did he? Boss, I've updated the mission list. We've received some new job offers. The details are on your iDroid. And you can never see him again, can you? you? No, you can come back to the quarantine platform I think he's on. Well, I guess we gotta bring up the tape. So, um, thanks for watching. I'll let the tape play us out while he continues to. You should go to the zoo. Fucking ass. You know what? We should show the zoo, but uh, unfortunately, that would require me to play some more. So, if you get footage, sure, but I'm not gonna show the zoo. The zoo's kind of cool, but you really can't do anything there either, because they're all locked up. See you next time. Volgan, the Gru Colonel, was burned alive with a shagoha during Operation Snake Eater 20 years ago. Despite suffering severe burns to his entire body, he still clung to life. After you left Seleniarsk, Volgan's body was taken to a research institute in the outskirts of Moscow. But modern medicine couldn't explain why he was still alive. Not that the colonel was any ordinary man to begin with. That constant electric current he had running through his body that he could unleash at will... To be honest, I was always uncomfortable around him. Thought I might get electrocuted just by standing nearby. The Institute studying him was tasked with investigating and developing human paranormal abilities. The comatose Volgan was used to further the Soviet Union's research into such abilities. But not long ago, the facility burned to the ground. And Volgan's body was never found among the rubble. Even though the fire started in the room where they were keeping him. This occurred at around the same time you woke up. If Skullface was right, and a thirst for revenge can turn a man into a demon and keep the dead alive, then this man on fire who's been coming after us ever since you woke up, well, that just might be what's left of our old friend Volgan. It's not over yet. Back in 64, in Selenuarsk, you brought his plans for a utopia down in flames. That grudge is what's keeping him alive. The day the research facility holding Volgan burned down, a Soviet jumbo passenger jet happened to crash nearby, far away to the north of that hospital in Cyprus. On board the plane was a young boy who was being studied at the same facility. The 
plane fell to Earth from over 8,000 feet, but the boy's body was the only one not recovered. At almost exactly the same time as the crash, Volgan awoke in that facility. According to the Research Institute's documents, the gifts this boy demonstrated included psychokinesis and telepathy. To protect his mind from being inundated with other people's thoughts, he always wore a kind of gas mask. A rudimentary form of psychic insulation, apparently. We don't know where this boy is, but if Skullface is connected to him, we may cross paths with him yet. This boy is part of a new age where nothing we understand about the world makes sense anymore. Don't let your guard down. something. 